Yes, people, welcome to Never a Foul. Sorry for being late. My fault. It wasn't Mo, it wasn't Joe, and it wasn't Daps. It was me. Part, partly me. It was kind of me. I was on an important phone call, to be honest. Um, I must admit, when I got downstairs and I was thought, oh, I'm late, yeah. and then realised, oh, no, Cassie's on the phone to someone else, not actually on the stream. <laughs> yes. Thought, oh, um, <laughs> look, you guys might already know what it is for it. Uh, smash the like button if you're here and you can see and you can... You know, it's loud and clear. The like button's important if you haven't hit that yet. Also, joined by, you know, all these lovely guys. Um, there's a new Egyptian king potentially in town. No, <laughs> it's not Mo. And no, it's not Salah. Man like El Ghazi. I can't believe what I'm reading because I want to dismiss this, but guess what? He was at the stadium. Really? The Emirates at the library to watch Man United versus Arsenal. It's also from Chris Wheeler which makes it totally worse because he's, he likes to talk a lot on Man United. If this happens, I'm going to rip out my hair. I'm going to shave it off. You know what? Actually, I'm going to shave it off because I can't be asked. Send it my way. Send it I'm my gonna, way, bro. I'm going to have a whole Britney <laughs> I might keep some to make mine a bit yeah, thicker at the front as well. <laughs> I'll have a whole Britney Spears episode just just in England instead. I can't believe it. Um, But anyways, other than we're going to talk on El Ghazi and Man United situation, etc., etc., and what it... <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, Romeo Lavi is out for six weeks. So that's a very long time for Chelsea. Sorry to, to blow your bubble a little bit. Uh, so we're going to talk on what, the, what what does Chelsea look like for the next six weeks and who they've got. And I think it's easy to dive in. We've done it plenty of over the last couple of weeks. But it's just talking midfield options, midfield freeze, and what could actually work. And then Mr. Harry Kane, Mr. Tottenham, exposing Daniel Levy for what he really is and also Spurs for what they are um, in terms of as a club. But Joe, what are you saying, man? All good, mate. I can't lie. Before I came live, uh, I did see the news break on uh, on my Twitter feed about El Ghazi and I couldn't help but laugh, mate. It's just from one to the next, isn't it? We've gone from Johnny Evans to Amwell uh, Gel Ghazi, who... Oh, he's El Ghazi. He's Moroccan. Never mind. Moroccan. Yeah. King. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think didn't Everton sign him because of their owner or something, and they never wanted him. And he was at Villa for a bit. I mean, I think he was at Villa in the Championship when Leeds were down there. So this is the kind of level you're dealing with. I don't know where he's been since then. I don't rate him. Uh, where's he been? Where was his last club? Where's he been let free from? Do you know why? So I, there's a, there must be. I good actually reason. don't think it's that bad. PSV. He was in P. No, he was at PSV. In 2022, and he was also at Aston Villa prior to that. He's 28 years old. He is Moroccan, to be sure. fair. And he's actually, oh my god, and he's Dutch. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What, Dutch player? What Ten Hag after a Dutch player? <laughs> oh, I don't believe it, bro. I'm Firstly, so done. his name uh, even. Mo. His name is El El Ghazi. It's an <laughs> Mo. Can I just say you're back? You like. Do you yeah. think you're in an E17 Stay Another Day music video or something? like? <laughs> Why is that? Bro, I he's heard bad, you say... Man, he's bad, more. Your back, No, your background is white. Like, it's not just white, oh, it's... I know, uh, I'm in an apartment. It's in, it's in the Matrix. You know, you know oh, when more... Yeah, but most people, most people paint their walls like Magnolia. That is white, like Tippex. It's not my apartment. I know it's not your apartment. You just look like a floating multi- head. <laughs> it's one of the multiple holiday homes you go to. <laughs> it's so the last one. It's, Hopefully you know, it's this very is white, one. bro. It's like, hi. Uh, he looks like he's been... Ca- yeah, he looks like... It's like the Matrix. You know when Morpheus got captured yeah. by the agents? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, but, 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 but honest, just, I just to... don't. I don't think it's that bad. I, was Mo, Mo, I, I heard you say that, though, Mo. I heard you say you don't think it's that bad. And... We had this conversation last night. Can right? I just Hold on, something? let me let me, let me just finish. Because then I'm going to let you go, bro. Let, yeah, we had a... this conversation last night, right? Fucking this is shit. And basically, I was saying for the last eight nine years, when people when I've gone in on United, 
and people are like you hate it. Well, yes, I do. I support C, right? Secondly, you haven't been as good as you used to be. But the main thing is, it's when you get United fans, not Cass, United fans that settle for mediocrity, yeah? And I'm talking about when they're going, you know, like the um, Jesse Lingard is, uh, and uh, like trying to put Jesse Lingard as a winger on this pedestal. And it's like, hold on. Is that really the quality of Man United now? Now, you're going to say it's not that bad. Here's Cass's issue, bro. They are Manchester United, right? They are not Aston Villa. They are Manchester United. Regulon, Johnny Evans, mm -hmm. Darcy, right? That is where it's... Is it that bad if you're a mid Sweet. Premier League? <laughs> no. They're Manchester United, bro, and they are <laughs> going to be their last three signings. Johnny Evans, Regulon, and El Ghazi. Wow. Three agents Come are not... On, that is not it for me. Yeah, I, 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 no word of a lie. A Leeds fan put up, a, uh, this was about a week ago, who they would like Leeds United to sign. And El Ghazi was on that list. And I said, El Ghazi, you're having a laugh. I don't even think he's better than what we've got in Somerville, Nonto, Rutter. He's that, but his back catalogue reads Aston Villa Championship, Everton didn't get much game time. Then he's been PSV. And for whatever reason, PSV has said, you're not good enough. Now you're expected to go into a Man United side that by all accounts before the season started, we're going to be challenging for Champions League spots as it gets... I just can't see it. Like, you've got all the upheaval on the wing, and I get you've got to get a free because Sancho's probably not going to play. We know the situation with the other two that have had to leave. But even still, get someone from the youth set up. Don't be going to El Ghazi. Surely there's someone there at the youth set up. This is Ganacho, Pelistri. Pelistri's right there. And if Sancho's not going to be in the squad no more, which is looking like apparently... The, the meeting that, that he had with Ten Hag is not exactly... It didn't go down... This is from Crossy Daily Star, man. So I'm not. I'm going to take it with a pinch of salt, right? They said that it's, it's not been great talk. So we don't know yet. Maybe they'll... But when it's come from Chris Wheeler for, about El Ghazi, the, a potential, like, signing of it, the way I'm looking at it is there, there must be some truth to that then. So just because the paper's crap doesn't mean it was lying. There must be, there must no. be something there that's not right. And we already know there's nothing... I don't think Ten Hag and Sancho has a great relationship... Player power has to get out of the club one way or another, and you might have to suffer for it for a little bit. But it is what it is. But Ahmad's back in like, what's it called? Ahmad's back in November. Cool. You got Pelestri, you got Ahmad. Anthony, the way he's going with Anthony right now, after what he's posted, it's not looking good for the for the accuser, right? At this moment of time. So I can guarantee he'll be back very soon as well. You know, um, unless there's a change of events. So who knows? And then I look at Mason Mount and, and what midfield we've got. Van der Beek's not gone nowhere, going nowhere. So we've got an extra man. I know Mason Mount and Bruno ain't right wingers, but I'd rather them on the right than El Dam Ghazi. <laughs> you do get what I'm saying? And I'm looking at El Ghazi's stats. On the eye, it doesn't look great, but guess what? I saw him Aston Villa. I mm. was not impressed. You know, he's a technical footballer, but what you, you talk about Man United wingers on the right-hand side not being able to beat a man, Yeah. Like, take him on. Go. What do you think El Ghazi's going to do? Mo smile. Mo. Yeah, Mo, go I on. This, is, I think this listen, is your normal African brothers, don't man. Don't tell me I'm... Be, listen, Joe, you can vouch for me. He said it's it before the stream. the stream. Before yeah. even oh. the stream. Okay? I okay, think, stressed, honestly, man. if this guy gets half a million a year, being on the bench, being just a, another body, experience... Before that, he got 10 goals in the Premier League with Aston Villa. By the way, he played two seasons, two full seasons for Aston Villa in the Premier League. By the way, it's mm. not Championship Joe. So he, he was in the Championship though, bro, yeah? He was. 31 yeah, he times. Scored ten, yeah. He scored 10 goals. I actually don't think he's a top half of the table player at all. No. But no. I thought he's a technical player, as Cass said. And at the moment, we're looking at the free transfers. We're not looking at... Man United are not going to negotiate for somebody. This guy is someone who is free. He's another body. Uh, you, you are do... you preferring him to Palestri? So let me just let me just yeah exactly, I... exactly. Thank you. Yeah, are you preferring him to Palestri? How many times I've seen Palestri play in the Premier League? A handful mm -hmm. of minutes. But how many times I've seen Al Ghazi play in the Premier League? A lot, about sixty games or more, or eight about eighty games. So that's the level. Maybe isn't there, but I think for, you're not paying any money. You're not paying him any wage. Probably this guy's going to make half a million a year or something. That's nothing. You have three competitions. You have two cups. So that's what the free market. 
Someone give me another name in the free market because I was actually think. I, I, someone sent me a tweet earlier. There must be Go a ahead. list out there. No, I was gonna. I was gonna ask. Yes, this. there must exactly. be a list out there. Someone yeah, yeah. sent me the list that, and not a lot of players are actually in there. Some of them are like 35, 36, 37. He's twenty eight. He's without a club. For me, people think that this is gonna. St- he's gonna start for Man United. He isn't gonna start for Man United. But who's gonna be? The thing is, is the whole we point is about if, Johnny Evans. If we're, if we're, if we're gonna bring, <laughs> you know what it is? If we're bringing someone off the bench and you see El Ghazi come on, I'm not gonna lie. Someone like Kyle Walker or Nathan Ake are just gonna laugh. That's yeah. that's the way he's like. He's like what? Who? Like well, I would say. I would say you're going to see Maguire and Johnny Evans <laughs> in the Carabao Cup, yeah? And we saw them against Man- against Arsenal at the Emirates, yeah. yeah? And this is the thing that I get what Mo's saying, yeah? That, you know, they haven't got much choice. I get all of that, Bob, but this is Manchester United. This is Manchester United who last season finished third, got to the FA Cup final, got to the Carabao Cup final, won that, right? Are now in the Champions League again. And, bro, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. We can sit here and go, you know, Harry Maguire, Johnny Evans, Regulon, uh, El Ghazi, they're not going to start in the Champions League. But the truth is, bro, they might. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah. They might. We can't do... Johnny Evans and Maguire ended up playing against Arsenal at the Emirates, bro. Nothing nothing seems to be able to be ruled out of this club anymore. And that's yeah, that's probably are, the worrying I thing agree. for Cass that he's there going. Cass, who, who would you rather, El Ghazi or... Uh, Palestri, who would you rather? Right. But, what are you, but what are you worried about now? F and El Ghazi starting over Palestri, yeah. The way I look at it, look, if you was going to give me El Ghazi three years ago, yeah, of that Aston Villa, I'll be like, you know what, I'm taking that's an option, yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah. option. He got me, he got over 10, I think, he got like he had a very, I remember the Aston Villa, he had a very good year, and a very good and season, the second, yeah, and then the ten, second ten year, goals, ten the goals. Second, the second year, he's on the bench. He didn't even play more than what, like four, five hundred minutes. He, he just went missing all of a sudden, and he wasn't through injury either. And then I, I, I'm not too sure he wasn't in the squad. I think he might have fell out with a manager. Went Everton, bro. He went to Everton for a little bit. Didn't play. I think he went yeah, to Everton on loan, and yeah, yeah, it, it didn't happen. And then he goes to PSV, and he has actually had a good season for PSV. To be fair, he actually did. But you remember way, he played for the Dutch national team, did that? Okay. Bro, bro, bro. Do you know what it is though? It's not levels, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, we're here. We're here. This is the thing. But, yeah, Everything, bro, so I we, get it. Daps, we can laugh. Okay, Daps, if we, we can laugh. Oh, I'm at, here to right? laugh. I am here to laugh. Exactly. Here. I'm not going to laugh. Can la- we can laugh at Maguire. We can laugh at Maguire still being there. Johnny Evans, Rigalon, who hasn't played last year. We can all laugh at that. But I'm being I'm being objective here. I'm not. We can laugh at Man United. Like you, ma? But it, it hasn't started with Al Ghazi. It started with Johnny Evans. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It, it, it's not El Ghazi, is it? And then, then yeah, Regulon, and now yes. El Ghazi, and that's what so... I'm saying. That that this is not how when when Ten Hag arrived, this is not how Cass envisaged Man United to look. This no. is not what he, you know, this, bro, they went in, this, this time, bro. They've been for the last year getting excited about Qatar coming in and Qatar money and what that could bring, right? El-Ghazi. This is like, uh, but <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. We're looking. It's 2023. We're watching. Arab as well, we're, so and let's just break so down right. what we've seen in the last couple of weeks. We've seen Johnny Evans be re-signed by Man United. We've seen Regulon be re-signed Man United. We've seen uh, Chilwell play left wing for Chelsea and now play in some sort of advanced role for England. Gall- seen, Gallagher starting four games. But we're seeing Chelsea. we're seeing Jordan Henderson. Yeah. yeah. Still run Crazy, the channels for England, right? And now we're seeing El Ghazi. And it's just all of this is just what is going on. This is not what we this is not what we you expected. Know, it's, it's so irrelevant. I actually thought he was Egyptian because someone in the comments said Egyptian king. I was like, all right, he must be Egyptian then. I didn't I even know. Mo didn't, Mo didn't, Mo didn't, Mo didn't even didn't bro, the truth is Mo didn't pull you but up. He on made it. me doubt Mo didn't know that because he, <laughs> he, he maybe he, is. He, he made, yeah, maybe he's Egyptian. <laughs> I think I thought he was Egyptian as well. Like, I'll be real. I was thinking like, I've never <laughs> I, 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 it should have been bait. El, El Ghazi and Naziri, da 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 da. Yeah, cool, whatever. El Nene, even though it's spelled differently, but it's just I just, I don't know, man. That, I, this is how relevant the guy is. He's 28 years old. It's just vague horse all over again for me, man. Oh, you know what? He comes into the club. I'll give him a chance. As if he does, if he is to, I will give him a chance, to be fair, for about two games. My man, Man United gives everybody a chance. Just come on. Give yeah, me because you have to. Yeah, you, you have to. Just, yeah, the thing is, everybody gets a chance. Everyone is, anyone deserves a chance. If they get given a role, you're going to give them a chance regardless. But they, no, 
is, is Liverpool giving my man a chance? Is Man City giving him a chance? Is Arsenal... Bro, I don't even think Everton give him a chance again. See, that's, that's the difference. Uh, Leeds don't even want him. Well, no, but that, that that's the truth of the matter, though, Cass, is that how long has he been a free agent for and no one at the bottom end of the Premier League has gone, do you know what? He's played in the Premier League before. Let's give him a chance. Not even not. Not even yeah, Luton. Not even Luton. Uh, exactly, not even Luton. It's ridiculous that on this <laughs> oh, stream we have, a Man City, we have a Man City fan and a Leeds fan to laugh at Man United. It's absolutely... You're yes. lucky, Joe. To be honest, you're lucky, Joe. <laughs> <Joel. laughs> <Joel. laughs> And Cass is just like, now you're just somebody that I used to know. It, it, it's, it's, it's really, it's really is getting like that. You know what? This this potential transfer, for, it's actually made my night. How about that? I think it's funny. I needed a laugh today. Mm. I needed a laugh. It's been a bit, today's been a little bit bland. No football. You know, there's been no content from us as well during the day um, because there's nothing to really speak on. Hence why the three o'clock show wasn't going on. I, we don't want to give you quantity. But this yeah. is actually making my night. Because guess what? We we all thought, after the Premier League is finished, we've got a week. Guess what that week was? All about Man United, yeah? That whole week. Laugh of Man United. Come Monday. Nope. We're not stopping the ride here. This is full <laughs> pop in your club. You know, we've oh, got the roller coaster going Can I have around. one to the mixer? Can I have one to the mixer? You have to be a little bit creative with news stories, but it's not even getting that difficult, right? <laughs> Ex-Man United player... And Jaden Sancho's friend, Paul Pogba. Oh, yeah, doping, has isn't been it? accused of doping. Right. No, so let's throw that one on Man United as well, because we can link it to Manchester United very easily. Jaden Sancho's friend and ex Manchester United star, Paul Pogba. Right. It doesn't imagine? matter. He doesn't play for them no more. Let's just throw it in the mixer. Like it, when it rains, it. it pours, and it is pouring, bro. <laughs> it is pouring. Oh, man United is Fort Park, man. This this is the new. It's not. It's called Old Park, Old Fort Park now. <laughs> um, King Winter Soldier, big up. I right, this guy just loves it, man. Thanks for becoming a gold member again. Um, again, I'm kind of confused. Was you not before? Yeah, 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 you was before. Of course, you was. But big up, anyways. Uh, e Talk. I remember you from yesterday from the space. Yeah, that was. That was funny. I, I hope you're keeping yourself to yourself. And he just started uni uh, today. His first lecture to introduction week. So uh, big up yourself for that. Oh, that's early, isn't it? Is that... Yeah, it's nice it's starting. It's, it's, it's oh, so yeah, my, yeah, my niece, yeah. my niece, my niece goes to Brighton. She goes down there, travels down there this week. Yeah. week. I think it's fresh week. Week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big up Solomon as well for gifting five memberships. So if you see that you become a member, you, uh, you're nomad. Uh, who else is there? All right, Pablo, there you go, mate. You've been screaming for that one. Um, and a few others as well. And then King Gov says, Rashford should have left this because this is a joke. Ugh. You know what? The, you know, the, the best thing about this for me is, is that now Man United get written off a little bit more. And is, that must mean there's a little bit less pressure. More pressure for the manager, but for Man United, everyone looks at like, oh, you know what? They, they, they're, not, they're not serious. So, and that's when Man United play... <laughs> Cass can find a Cass can find a positive anyway, yeah, bro, but it's like yeah, this yeah, is the way we can come back. Bro, no, but I, I, never, I there, is ne there is never I no think... pressure on Man United. No, 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 <laughs> never gonna happen, bro. no but it's I've seen. Happen, I'm, witnessing, I'm witnessing it under from what I've seen for the last few years. When there's pressure, when Man United are expected to win a game on a Monday night or something, we never win. When we don't expect to win and people write us off, we go and win. And it's the weirdest thing ever. It's it's a bit of a mentality issue at Man United, I'd say, because this is why I don't like players like stay away from Aid. Are we linked to him? I'm taking Yeah, him. no, no, I was oh, just gonna oh, say he's oh, free oh, as well. Surely oh, he'd be yeah, a he better was, option than El Ghazi. Oh, he was considering he was what? considering, considering retiring. retiring. Yeah, but actually, do you know what? And here's he's another better one. than El Ghazi, oh, man. You could have you could have grabbed this one. Hold tight, uh, I, Mina. You could have grabbed Pepe. Oh my god. Wait, Eden Hazard is a free agent right now. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, something about retiring. This isn't. Bro, this is this, this guy. Is, hey, bring this him is the Ben Ten, ben ten era for Man United. It was supposed to be the good era for Man United. Ben Ten most, era for Man United. It was supposed to be your team, man. It's my honor. Can, you, get, can you, can do? Say, you do with this team? Oh, I can't with lie. Gazi? Team, with you've, got, you, you've got Damien at the back, G. <laughs> Cass, We don't Cass. now. We have we have now. Do you know what? Today, today is this this stream is actually good for me today's the ninth year anniversary of my dad passing right and i'm oh, just here thinking I, I bet he wishes he was here to see this as well 
He must be looking down I'm at Man pretty, United. I'm, I'm, thinking, pretty sure he's, he's, I'm pretty sure he's having a good laugh right now. Well, he's definitely having him and his dad are both up there laughing their heads off about what happened to Man United. I'm saying, Dad, for all them years, I was like, why, why Man City? Why trips to Main Road? Well, it was worth every second of yeah. it now. <laughs> yeah, man. I right, bring back Oba Tana Valencia. Why not? As my man said, why not? You know what? Bring back Jemba Jemba, man. I'm pretty sure Andy Cole's got a, a, a few years left in him, you know, at the standard of it. This is, oh. this is disgusting, man. This is and shit. This is, this is what I, this and this is exactly what I used to say. Ty, if you're watching this, Soups, if you're watching this, when I used to say, settle him for mediocrity, yeah? You used to have Lee Sharp, Andre Kanchelskis, yeah? Players like that. Gigs, to be fair. I mean, oh, off the, I mean, that makes sense to how Man United are, to be fair, with the off-the-pitch antics. But with the talent <laughs> on the pitch, yeah? Like, uh, some of yours are keeping with the tradition of Ryan Giggs, so I do get that one, yeah? But talent-wise, on the pitch, there was talent there. Now, bro, what? Wait, look, is that the real Lewis? Uh, Lewis, if that's you, message me in... Uh... Message me on WhatsApp, yeah, I please. Is, I, think that I don't know, Lewis. because I thought I had him on a, as a mod already. It might be a fake one. But, do you know, are you just touched on something as well? Is how people come round to the thinking. Like, how did this happen? Like, does he happen to know Ten Hag? Because they've been in a, like, cafe in Amsterdam awesome. smoking He's a He's playing for Ajax, mate. He's playing oh, for Ajax. That... So... And, and next week, where he came on through. a second. What are you doing in time. England? You know, they probably bumped into it. He probably got three tickets in hospitality for the game at the Emirates. When was Ten, ten Hag at Ajax? When, what years? Was he there as a youth coach? Because uh, Al Ghazi um, was there 2014 to 2017. So I don't know if he was, if, if he was kicking yeah, about. Fair, he said 17. He might have had a year. He might have had a year. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me check this. This I can is... just imagine he was no, at no, no. the Emirates. He was at the he was at the Emirates, right? Just as you know, as no a celebrity that had been given there. tickets in the hospitality suite. And Ten Hag's walked in there and kind of seen him, looked back and gone, "What are you doing in England? Oh, I'm just here. What? Who are you playing for nowadays?" But in Dutch, obviously, <laughs> no one. He's yeah. like, "You're you're a free agent." So, um, from what I can see, no, he he give me your number. Give me your number. You're Dutch. You're Sue. Yeah, he didn't coach him. No, he didn't coach him. No, no, he, he was he, he just got sold to Lil. Wow, yeah, man, this is this is this is and is maybe, it maybe, maybe that was his like as he came in at Ajax, that was his one thing of wanting to coach El Ghazi, and now is his opportunity. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> El Ghazi, Bring him back. who wouldn't have him? Who wouldn't have him? I mean, oh man, I mean, that's. Boy, I reckon you'll get rid of Donny and then you'll rehire so him Donny, in a year's Donny, time. Don, uh, see, he's been frozen out as well. So he's not even in the team like that. So it's just, yeah. oh, man. I don't know. I just see it as maybe if he signs him, it's got, I, don't, I don't think he gets much time, but it's just, it's still it's still the option, the fact that he's in your squad. You know, January's only there. You can man Surely you can manage till January. Are you going to even get a budget in January? That's another question. I'll sort so, it out with Sancho. That's the answer. Sort it out with Sancho. Yeah, I'd rather see. For me, I just think it's just time to get rid of him, anyways, man. It's his third year, and he's already got another problem. Just get rid, man. I just yeah, get El Ghazi. Yeah. I can't lie. At this moment of time, El Ghazi will probably pop up. And... No, let's let's be honest. El Ga... Let's be honest here, yeah. Sancho, with all the talent he's got, can any of you tell me a, a match where he ha... other than Liverpool, no. by the way, uh, he scored season. against Leeds, bro. When he came back after his thing, didn't he? he scored against but, Leeds and then was gone again. Yeah, that, but that wasn't even a great performance. No, no, no. no I watched that live. I re I'll remember. Like, could anyone vividly tell me? No. S Sancho, other than Liverpool game, what other games did he play amazing in? Not on top of my head. I wait no. for anyone in the comments. So, what's the likely rate that El Ghazi is going to put in a couple eight out of ten performances against, like, a, even if it's a Luton town? Who's going to actually give you more better performances, an El Ghazi or a Sancho? Be honest. Be you really just... honest with us right here. Wait, listen, I'll leave that to the comments. You actually... <laughs> oh, yeah, Sancho versus Chelsea for one half, by the way. One half. Oh, if oh, Don wait, is watching know... this, if Don is watching this, he's... he's uh, hopefully you're not me... talking about the Sancho that was at the bridge, by the way. At the bridge, he was the worst player on the pitch. He had to get taken off. Listen, if Don is watching this, he wants some of Cass right now. You're actually saying you'd rather El Ghazi to Sancho. Yeah. 
I know I've I've had enough of you, you know. Just just get out of the channel, man. You're so negative all the time. Apparently we apparently we always talk about Arsenal, we always talk about Chelsea, and according to him, we always talk about Man United. Um just, just get out. I'm tired of this guy, man. Who's yeah. he, who does he want us to talk about, by the way? I don't know, man. Probably his mum and dad. And, and, well, and I mean, it's funny. We can talk about the negative com- comments. Hold tight, Jenny, if you're watching this. <laughs> 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 Miss Negative, right? She was actually good. I don't know what she was talking about earlier. But another one is we are we're 25 minutes in. I haven't mentioned a certain club yet or made a topic about a certain club yet. So I'm doing well, people. Because yeah, I, I always, need, I need, I need I always make it about City. So there we go. I've mentioned when, it. When, El- when Elgazi gets your five goals in the next two months, and then you'll see more said. Five goals in two months? I right, bro, give him another year. I'm <laughs> starving. It's better than what Andy's going to give me. <laughs> <laughs> that's said five goals. What can he get in another four months? Hey, right, give me ten. I'm, 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 all, I'm all good there, man. I mean, he's done bro, it before. And, right? and, bro, your wingers are dead other than Rashford, bro. No, yeah. I like Pelestri. I like Pelestri. He needs a chance. Think not, about but, it. It's it's again I, potential. We're getting coached by Bielsa International like as well now, man. So say yeah, I don't mind it. I don't care. I'd rather yes, I'd rather potential. Chelsea, like 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 Chelsea. I'd rather potential than something I know what to expect already right now. Oh, because we, you look at it and go Pelestri, Palista. They sound similar. One of them was good. Yeah, play him. We've that's <laughs> that's how they're working now. Hatton Ben Arthur. Long mate, it continue. I, Aiken, man. Ben Arthur sounds great right now. But how's how's Ben Aiken? Arthur now? Probably about 35, isn't it? Yeah, he's getting on like... Oh, that's yeah, right. yeah. Newcastle, he was amazing, weren't he? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah he, he smashed it. I remember that got... Was I it can swear, because then he went from there, didn't he go PSG? Yeah, and then after yeah, PSG... Yeah, something like that. But I went thought after Lille. PSG, when Lille was all Hatem right, Hatem was Hatem Ben Arthur, Samir Nasri and Karim Benzema was supposed to be the future of the French national team for 15 years. I mean, Benzema, oh, come on, we can't... Ben, so Benzema we really did it. Benzema, Benzema did it. Samir Nafsiri retired at age of 31? Some 32? Something oh, like yeah, that? Oh, yeah, after, 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 you know... He went to City, won the league, after, and then after, he's like... Yeah, but after, yeah, uh, he literally got done for doping, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know what? Anyway, I saw something anyway. funny from that flag today. I just thought I quickly mentioned it. Apparently, if Mo Salah looking to leave, they're highlighting Killing Mbappe to replace him, and also uh, Jared Vinicius. Bowen. Oh no, and Vinicius. Oh, and Vinicius Junior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The two left wingers, the only that want to play on the left, and an actual right winger from the Premier League. Oh, so Mbappe, Mbappe, M- Mbappe, who wants to wants to go to uh, Real Madrid, mm. and Vinicius, who's at Real Madrid. And they're linked with both of them. I, I can't see him getting either of them for me personally. No, but... definitely not. Nah. Yeah, I, I, I can't see. I Jared, Jared Bowen, Bowen, I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Wait, no, because it. No, I I really like Bowen, but what I'm saying is we're talking about Mbappe Vinicius. They go, yeah, you can get Bowen. You're not getting him <laughs> too. Though, <do> you know. <laughs> now Bowen. To be fair, Bowen. Bowen. Yeah, he's a good player. He's, good and player. he's a type. Yeah. Of, he is a type of player that if you look at yeah. like, yeah. look at Ronaldo. People wouldn't have spoke on Ronaldo the way they did. No. He went Liverpool. He went Liverpool, and look what happened. Look at Mane. I can imagine Jared Bowen going to Liverpool and cooking at Liverpool under Klopp, becoming, you know, taking it to a next level. So I don't think Bow- Bowen is a bad signing. But when we're no. when we're talking, you know, yeah, Vinicius Junior and Mbappe. Oh no, it's <laughs> all right. We got Bowen, but yeah. it probably would work for Liverpool. I think Klopp would make that work. They've wanted him for a few seasons, I think, Bowen, right? He's been mentioned yeah. a few times, so clearly, clearly Klopp likes him. I so. think I've been mentioned by fans only. I've actually never seen a link from Liverpool Athletic. to Jared, Jared Bowen. No, the Athletic literally posted it. This is now. This is now. Yeah. Today, today. The last yeah, year, the year before. Or... Yeah. Have you the spoke about... posted it. might have some truth to it. Might have have you spoke yeah, about maybe... Um... This agenda, you know what I mean? The fans yeah. push this agenda, Jared Bowen thing. And people believed it. And then hey, Danny, Dyer, yeah. Danny Dyer, when he comes home and he's got a grandchild that's talking, like, hi, Grandpa, how are you doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you watched What about him? Um... You can imagine him doing a talk over the film. I looked you... at him and I had you to look at him like. Are <laughs> 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 you going to go watch the football today, Grandpa? <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. It's all gone Pete Tog. <laughs> 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 <Grandmother. laughs> I was sweating my tits off like Jesus Christ, what's going on here? 
I don't know how everyone's got a perception that Danny Dyer's a hard man all of a sudden. <laughs> Bro, listen, he was in the business. That was it. From Aye, that, that point, yeah. Film. From, from he was in the bi- business is a cold film, bro. This One of the coldest, film. and he was sick in it as well. And from that film, it was like Danny Dyer is a hard nut. The best one was where he used to go to when he used to go around to like see the Football hardest thing. Yeah, and he'd be yeah. like, mm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking bricking it. <laughs> Going in there with some of the toughest geezers in football. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Um, but yeah, moving on. Um Chelsea Football Club. Don, don't get offended or get offended. Um, look, Lavi is out for six weeks. I thought he was only going to be for about two, three weeks. So that sounds like he's got a grade two or they would call it a grade B, um, the ankle injury that he's got. So six weeks is not a long time, but in Chelsea days, it's a long time. It's basically like counting dog years because they need results now and they need options now, right? Lavia being out, the short, like I know he's, I know he's been training, trying to get back on his feet. It's unfortunate for him. But how do you, do? You, does anyone genuinely believe that Pochettino is going to change things up now, considering like that he's Flavius out and he's got less options, or continue with the five at the back because he's got less options? It's just I don't want to obviously a long conversation about it. Don't need to, but I'm trying to just figure out who they potentially bring off the bench now. Because let let's say they get another injury to another midfielder, and I know they've only got one game a week plus. Carabao Cup and stuff, you know, it's... it's, who, it's not, who are they it's not... waiting for to play left wing, bro? Because it, it, because obviously they're saying it's not a back five, right? It, yeah. Chilwell's playing left wing, right? So, is it, they, who? I don't know off the top of my head, maybe I'm being a bit mad, but who, who are they wanting to play that position that enables Chilwell to go back to left back, Colwell to go centre back alongside Thiago Silva, for example? Like, is that not the missing piece, whoever's going to play? Is it in Kunku? I'm not sure. Is he going to be, you know, the t- a 10? I'm not sure, or a false nine. I'm not sure, but there's obviously got to be changes in that formation to enable Chilwell to go back to sort out the back line. You Unless he's just it. going to play him as a winger. I don't know. No, what, what midfield... All right, player for player, and that's actually injury-free right now. What are their midfielders? Three. Caicedo, Enzo, and Conor Gallagher. That's it. Cole, Cole Palmer, maybe? Mm. Cole Palmer? Cole Palmer is... Cole Palmer. People can tell me he plays a wing, uh, he plays as 10 or not a 10. I think he's a, he's, he's a winger. He's a le- right winger. He can play mostly. on the 10, definitely. He can play on the... He he, can. No, no, Mo, Mo, honestly, yeah. The last... More recently, you've seen him on the right wing, yeah? More recently. But he can he can play in the 10 role. 100%. Based on, based based on, on what? Based on what? Based on what? Based on that he's played for City's Academy on in the 10 role, bro. He's play, he can play the 10 role. I'll show you some... I'll send you some clips. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Telling okay. You, I'm telling you what you can say, play in no. the 10 role. I didn't watch the, the thing, Academy, of course. The, the, the one thing he that. can't do, though, he can't, play on, he can't play on the left. He can't play on the left. He's not that sort of player, he's, 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 he's Nah, he's not, he's not that guy. He's not a winger that puts crosses in, right? He's, he's one of those... He either does the cut in on your left, or he can play centrally. He can pick out... You'd be surprised at what he can do. And me personally, because I think he should play... I, th- I don't think you should move Sterling. I think Sterling has looked good on the right. Yeah, yeah. So I'd, I'd play Cole Palmer in the 10 role until Nkunku comes back or until they have another option. I don't think they've got many options there. I mean, Gallagher. Is Gallagher really an option there? I don't think I he think, is. I think they've got no choice but to play potentially Sterling on the left. Sterling left. Now. And then Cole Palmer and Ryan Gallagher in the 10. Not they Mudrick. Got you wouldn't give Mudrick a chance. Forget he's about Mudrick. He's, cr- he's crap. Let's, let's be honest. Yeah, he's he crap. short of confidence. He needs to c- find some form in a cup game, maybe. Um, and before you can trust him in the league. Because it's ultimately, you need Ws, right? Is Mudrick going to... Re- is there a guarantee that Mudrick's going to give you this W right now? Currently, how Chelsea... If Chelsea was on fire and on form, Mudrick will probably settle in a lot better and probably you can see a better yeah. version of Mudrick. This ain't the... Mm. He's he's, in, he's on great. He's on the lowest tier right now, I'd say, in terms of confidence and performance levels. But they got Leslie. They see that when he slipped over against Walt Walker and that, you know, I mean, when he had the ball. To be fair, it was funny, but it is against Kyle Walker at the end of the day. How dare you try to go? No, I know, but I'm what? getting like Timo Werner vibes. Sometimes Chelsea, some yeah. players go to Chelsea, and it's just wrong. We we all remember like even Shevchenko going there, not being able to bag after he you know smashed goals for years. They just have this knack, Maratta, whoever it is. They just go and it just ruins them. I don't know what it is. I I, I don't know if it's because their fans demand instant success since Abramovich came in. So if anyone's not nowhere near it, I don't know. Is it the pressure? But I, I just, 
Like everyone's mocking Mudrick, but I do. I sat there and thought the other day, like, I wonder if he'd have gone to Arsenal, if it had have actually worked. I don't think he's a bad player. All of a uh, sudden now he's terrible. He's not. It's just I, Chelsea's mad. I, don't I know, think it's mad. there's a few things that happened in that. So if he would have gone to Arsenal, it would have been for a, sm- a lot lower fee, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, then there's the second thing is there's this extra added added pressure because of the fact that. He he went to he went to Chelsea over Arsenal. That's pissed off Arsenal fans, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Chelsea fans rubbed it in Arsenal fans' face that we got him yeah. when you wanted him. So now every Arsenal fan is going to be like, <laughs> well, how, "How's that turning out for you?" And that's the thing with him. And I think you're right. There's that pressure. I mean, Timo Werner was another one, and I honestly thought mm. the, the difference is first season Timo Werner. You still saw things in him. That you thought, and I honestly thought Timo Werner and Lukaku would work. I honestly thought Lukaku's hold up game, Timo Werner's runs, I thought it could work, but it just didn't. But with Mudrick, yeah. I, but what other they must have at Chelsea, they must have other options there on the left. Who, who also got, got, I, I think they got look, they got Madwake here that can play there, and they've also yeah. got because he's left footed, don't get me wrong, he's predominantly more of a right winger, but he's both footed. And I love a, if a player's if he's left footed playing on left wing and can use his right, you're dangerous because yeah. you don't know what yeah, player yeah, 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 yeah. either side is the best thing. I think Mad- I think Madweke deserves a, a chance. And he hasn't had great performances yet, but I think he can definitely perform. Because I, I look at him as a creator and I look, I look at what Jackson kind of needs right now. And I think he needs a bit, bit, bit more than Sterling. I think Sterling needs to go on the left. I think Cole Palmer has gone to the right, go to a 4 3 3. I don't Gallagher back to goal in a 10 is crap. So yeah. put him as an advanced eight ways facing the goal. Put, put Enzo as the playmaker. And then obviously you got Kai Seda. You still got Leslie. The thing is, that means they're, they're down to one midfielder from what I can think about. And that's Leslie. He's a DM. Maybe he could do a job in centre mid. But then I'm looking at um, Matson. Matson can also do a job in centre mid if need be or a 10 job. Like, like do you get know what I mean? They still got these options. It's just whether Pochettino trusts those options to go and get the point. Because right now, I can, I wonder, look, they got Bournemouth away, right, Joe? Like, correct? No? Or, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, it's Bournemouth. They've got Bournemouth well. away next. Yeah. Imagine if they do. I'm not saying they are. They should go and de- it's still Chelsea. They should go beat Bournemouth, right? But Bournemouth and they, they, they're still kind of you know they got a knack here and there. If they drop points against Bournemouth, I can't imagine what the fan base is going to look at, especially if they continue playing Chilwell at left wing. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? It's just sometimes like I love the banner and everything, but I can't feel for Chelsea fans because I've been there before, man. <laughs> you know, do you know the reality? Do you know the reality was Chelsea? Apart from Sterling, who has a good name to him because of the goals he scored with City, Enzo and Caicedo, the rest of them, you wouldn't pick. That's and they've spent like a billion, right? Like, like near enough. It's to be honest freedom. with you, Kath, Colwell played games with Brighton last year. Brighton is completely different football, completely different pressure than Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, Thiago Silva, 38. De Sassi, we all know the story. Malagusto is still young. And all the youngsters, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing about it, Chelsea looks scary just because they have these two names. Enzo, a World Cup winner, and Caicedo. The rest of them are actually need a lot of time to start playing football at a top club in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. Apart from Thiago Silva. Even Sanchez. Sanchez was kicked out of Brighton. He was kicked out of Brighton. So Chelsea shouldn't go and be Bournemouth away. Based on what? Tell me based on what? I mean, in terms of actually, if you if we look at Chelsea for what the stats tell us, I don't know what the eyes tell us, but if we go off what the stats tell us, they've got the most possession in, in the Premier League. And when it comes to actual touches inside, uh, I mean, in terms of the most shots that have been launched, and I know not all of them are great shots, and even touches in the opposition box, they're there. They are actually there. Like, they're very high up. It's just about what do they do in the end. It's nothing really wrong with their defence. Not not in Forest 1-0, the way they conceded and everything. It's like there's nothing wrong. They're not going to go and get battered three, four, by 3-4 three, goals. Granted, West Ham, it is what it is. Chelsea have a very solid defence, even on paper. Colwell shouldn't be left back. Chilwell should be left back. He should be the starting. He's a vice captain. You need captain and you need experience in and around the squad, right? Wherever you can find it. Reese James, I don't believe... I believe he's not far back. He's coming back from injury kind of soon as so, well. But, if they... Tr- have they tried it's, playing Cucurella for in a more advanced role? Yeah. No, bro, bro, hold on. I hear what you're saying. Right. I hear what you're saying. But bro. they've been playing Chilwell in an advanced role. Right. So I'm just saying, if for me, 
defensively, I'm I'm having Chilwell over Cucurella every day of the week. Yeah, but if we go back to Brighton, Cucurella, he was good going forward. Yeah, so I if I'm gonna if that's what you have to pick from, could Cucurella not do a job down the left in a more advanced role? And if I'm not that... look, I'm not saying it's right, but I'm asking you what other options they have. Do they have enough cutting edge to get Kukure in the positions that they need? Well, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, but if you're, it's too predictable, it's easy. You know what Kukure is going to do. Is he going to turn inside and, and cut inside with his right foot? Probably not. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Can you're I ask right. you something serious, Cass? If Sterling does not play well against Bournemouth, where are the goals coming? Where are the creations coming? Well, this is, this is my, mm. this is your point to Don, and I think Joe could probably... Actually, I ain't even heard your point on it, Joe. You ain't actually spoke on Chelsea too much, even in our Monday shows. Like, where do you think their goals can actually come from? See, I like Jackson, me, mate, but like you say, he's... <laughs> Didn't I think it? I swear he got a hat-trick on international duty, though. I swear he Did got he? a hat-trick. I mean, yeah, I think so. I think so. I'll I might be wrong. Someone... That. Someone fa fact check me, but I swear I've seen some. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, mate. They don't really have many, do they? That's the mad thing. Um, I do really like Jackson. Um, I, I, I think he does a lot decent. Uh, do you know what I mean? Sometimes his, his touch is he's heavy, I think, but then on other times it's really good. Um, he's clearly got pace. I didn't, everyone keeps going on about the miss at Forest and stuff, and sometimes you need them to go for you, but um, yeah, outside of. Still, in and even like Mo said, in terms of of the the creative aspect, there doesn't seem to be much. I've watched them a few times, so I'm, I I guess Nkunku, like some, I think Skulls has just mentioned it in the chat. I don't know how long he's got left, but you'd imagine when he comes yeah. into this side, it's 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 a totally different kettle of fish. Yeah, he's, he's he's elite, yeah, in course, he, you know. Course, yeah, yeah, he's elite. Cool. So. Mama even Paul Palmer, you know, like Nkunku, Nkunku. Yeah, but it's, but it's I, I think Nkunku changes everything for me. Yeah, I know Nkunku does. will change a lot, but who says he bangs anyways? I who think he will. But stuff. we're going based on experience. We're going based on what we're I, I definitely like, think like, so. He's better, he's better, he's better than Conor Gallagher, bro. Come on, like. <laughs> Nkunku on the <laughs> left. I don't know when he's back, though. No, I'm trying bro, to Cass, Nkunku yeah, on the yeah. left is better than everybody. On the right is better yeah, than everybody. You know, and the he's 10 really, is better than everybody. Like, As a striker, he's better he's than good. everybody. Come on. Just, yeah. See, it's cool. after, the, after the November international break. Yeah, I thought, though, I thought it's late November. Wild, yeah, yeah, I thought it was late November. Late November. But the thing and about even Cole, back, neither. Cole Palmer. <laughs> people say Cole Palmer. People, yeah, people after November, bro. No, they say in January, bro. No, it's just a potential saw. return after the November international break. So that could be any time after that. That's what it? I saw. Yeah. I must admit, I don't want to do. What, the one thing you don't want to do is, is rush a guy rush with another injury. injury. Especially yeah. when he has had, yeah, he has, you know, he's had injuries. I swear he was injured for a bit last season as well, wasn't he at Leipzig? Yeah, 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 Leipzig. He was injured for a bit and he came back. But to be fair to him, he came back solid. He, he came back scoring goals straight away. Yeah, he looked good in one of the games against. I think the first game, the game at Leipzig, he looked good. Looked good against us. I'm pretty. He either came on as a sub or he got subbed off, but he looked good in that game. So, you know what I would. You know what I would mind. Like, where, where's Broyer? Where is Broyer as well? They got. Is he back? He's still injured. Still, still injured. injured. Still injured. Still because injured. I wouldn't even be opposed to seeing Jackson left with Broyer for the time being. Because yeah. guess what? You have got two sources of goals through Jackson and Broyer. I think it could work, and it it solves a lot of issues. But at, at the end of the day, look, with Chelsea, it's all down to Pochettino and the manager to work out something. We always talk, talk about, look, you've got all these options. Sometimes you don't have all of them, but you get through it. How do you get yeah. through these periods? Do you have to play a bit of negative football so you can get through the period? Or do you stick to what you know and that's, that's going to be the way? For me, Pochettino needs to stop being stubborn with it. He's had two weeks to change something up and surely you don't play five at the back or this rigid fire back that turns into a four back where your 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 left back is higher up the pitch it just doesn't work i get i kind of see what he's trying to do he's trying to overflow one area in the middle of the pitch and think it's going to be solid down the left and it'll be hard to attack but that's not the case chill well yeah, like going forward is is good don't get me wrong but it's two one dimensional what this is where i compare it to man united over the how many years have we seen how predictable man united how many where they're going to get their goals from and all their play that's going to come from yeah. it's the left hand side the right hand side, you know, they're not going to attack. You know what they used to do? Well, to do you know what they well, used to do? We, to thought, we, we, we thought that Anthony will get you there. Yeah. To be do, you honest. Remember, do you remember how it used to be with Wan Bissaka? They used to leave him alone, bro. When he yeah, got attacked, yeah. like, cool, we're going to double up on Rashford. Wan Bissaka, do your thing. We know you're going to lose the ball. 
And secondly, we know you're not going to cross it with good intent. Obviously, it's a little bit different these days because now they put Bruno over to the right-hand side predominantly now so he can help and be more effective with his crossing. But that's the way I see it with them. They need to really change up the personnel. Colwell is not hitting them brackets that we fought at Brian. He needs to go back to being a left centre-back. Put Badi Ashile is back. Maybe not for next game. Um, he might be on the bench, not ready to start. Go play De Sassi then, or go play Thiago Silva, to, and then and just keep Malagusto maybe tucked inside a little bit to help Thiago Silva out. You know, Caicedo is meant to be the legs, no, to cover a little bit. Trust in it. I just don't know. Poch has got something to work out and fast because this t- fan base can get very toxic very quick. Yeah. Do you know? I, I, think, I saw yeah. someone say, uh, "Say sorry, not El Ghazi. We won't move back to that." I, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, need <laughs> <laughs> El Ghazi. No, um, I. I I saw someone say that Cole Palmer got an assist for under 21 today. Um, he got a banging goal as well. Great finish with his left foot again. So, look, I I, I want to see... I'm invested in, in Cole Palmer a little bit still. I want to mm. see Cole Palmer start after the window. I'm just here because, obviously, I'm not a Chelsea fan. I don't know the most about Chelsea. I'm here thinking they must have... And I know midfield-wise, they're short. I want to see their. I almost want to see their squad in front of me because I feel like there must have some other options there that I'm that we're forgetting. I'm convinced Chilwell's got Pochettino's nudes. Well, it's, it looks like he might have Southgate. Well, and it looks like to the point where Pochettino's called up Southgate and said, "Let him play in an advanced role as well." The way well, he played well, for England the I, other day. I hear about the four-two-three-one, but I've seen, it's not. This, you know what I don't get is. Is Enzo should be further up the pitch. He doesn't. He shouldn't need a track back. The Chelsea's got yeah. good defense. Caicedo, you've seen it, Mo. You so you, 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 we've been praising Deserbi. He plays single pivot, uh, single pivot by himself in a DM role. Does he really need as much help as we as he needs to? But does Enzo need to be so far back? He doesn't even need to be the first phase player. You know, he they doesn't. He doesn't trust the defense. He doesn't, defense. Have, any he back back he doesn't have this thing. He wants to. Four, he two, wants three, to protect the goal to as much as he can. See, but that's why I don't think they need it, but they need to be a bit more adventurous. But the only thing is, is when they have done that, from what I saw from Nottingham Forest, is that they were prone to a counter-attack. But that's most teams. Exactly. They got hit on the counter cast against so West Ham against Forest. Then why you have to work, work back bro. so high? I don't understand it. See, this is what I'm saying, man. He's, they got no back-to-goal type players. Cole Palmer is probably better when he's facing the goal, not when he's back the team to is goal. Imbalanced. Yeah, the team yeah, is yeah, not is. balanced, Cats. The team's mm. not balanced. They can make it balanced. They can goes to... make it balanced. He doesn't want to because he doesn't trust the players yet. He probably I don't doesn't understand. He's got, he's got one game a week. This is... I'm getting stressed for Chelsea a lot. Like, he's got one game a week, bro. Well, Cole, I, feel Cole... bad. I feel bad for some of the players, to be honest. Like, Cole Palmer's not a... back, you're killing him. Oh, he seems to. But to be fair, he seems to. Bo, he seems to be enjoying it. He seems to be quite happy in his own little world running for Salah. Salah against him. I I think against uh, West Ham, Jared Bourne against Bro. (laughs) He's getting isolated, bro, on that left side. He's not liking it. I'm sure he wants to play. Oh, he's liking it so much. He was playing in an advanced role for England. He seemed quite happy further up the pitch. I. One thing with Cole Palmer, just say he's not a possession-based player at all. Cole Palmer is the type of player you want running at defenses. He's definitely not a back-to-goal player. He's someone you want running at the defense. Not that's why he cannot play in the ten in that team, in my opinion. I don't know, man. He, need, he needs to be. Uh, he needs to it. be the guy isolated on the wing with a pullback and drive at him. Try to yeah, get yeah, something yeah. out of that. It's Sterling yeah, on the left, in it, and and Cole Palmer on the right. I think. I think that's going to have to be it potentially. Be. But it's whether it's it's yeah, it probably would. You However, good Sterling's been on the right. If Jackson if there's not other options, there, not. If, you're, yeah. if you're Jackson, you're hungry. Look, I know he missed the open goal and didn't have a great game against Forest, but he had limited chances. It's just a final ball. I think Cole Palmer can definitely help with it. I think Don's hit. I think when Don was talking about Palmer and how much he changes that. The balance of things. Maybe he's seeing something that we don't, and maybe he's seeing it differently of how he lines up things compared to what Poch thinks. That's what I think about Amrabat. And not a lot of people think that way because they don't really know it like that. But when you get more invested in the play, you do you do more research, do more scouting on little clips and stuff like that, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it may be Cole Palmer is the fix for now. What well, are the right though, yeah? Because I look, I'm, I I I see Cole Palmer being he between the Cole lines. Palmer, there, isn't it? Yeah. Cole Palmer hasn't joined them, right? to sit on the bench. One of the reasons he went there is because of the game time thing. So he clearly, he needs, he's gone there for that reason. Um, I've no idea. Absolutely no idea. 
<laughs> Don just told me in the chat, Mo, you just don't know you haven't watched it again. It's the same comment for me. And I'm like, <laughs> same comment, bro. Like every time I say something about a player, I haven't watched it. So I cannot have an opinion. No, do you, know, do, you know, do you know the thing is, I like the Cole Palmer one through one the middle. Yeah, I yeah. I do get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying about he's not one to have his back to the goal. He's definitely one to drive at players, whether it be from the left or through the middle, he can drive at defences. I don't so much see that he's he's a hold-up player, if you're meaning with a back mm. to goal. Daps, Daps, you're the only one who watched him. You know, he played for City, the first team where we watch. We don't watch the academy for City. He played six games. That's the only thing we watch. Yeah, but you know he's played more than six games, bro. He's played more than six games for City. One thing I'll give Don credit more for, than six games, he does bro. look more like a goal-scoring type winger. And if they need anything yes. right now, yes. they need someone that can be that, yes. Sterling's not a goal-scoring one. He's going to have to do something different now. He's got... This is... You look towards your experience. Sterling, I know you've been great on the right, but take that confidence over to the left. What can you do from yeah. there now, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this team is starving. What's best for a team? A Sterling getting more confident or a more balanced way means the whole team gets up in performances? Because they need points today. Well, I mean, Saturday, now. Because they got a... Have you seen their fixture list? I've yeah. seen it for October. October's not looking good. It's mental. It's not looking that great. Oh. They've got some. They need to get well, some form by there. They need to get some form yeah. by October. They've yeah. got Bournemouth, Villa, Fulham, Burnley, and then it gets really Arsenal, Brentford, Tottenham, and and starts to get dodgy. So, and the last thing you need is another Chelsea. The whole squad becoming not confident whatsoever because then you get a Graham Potter situation, and then you get the fan situation, and then you've yeah. got Johnny Minerals sc screaming proper Chelsea about Mason Minerals. Bring back Mason Chelsea. Minerals. I Chelsea. told you, I told you without my, he'll be you, off of one about that. Video, you remember the video? Um, he's screaming at one of the players or something at, at the game, like, Where this ain't Chelsea? Where's my proper Chelsea gone? Like, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, the Chelsea. I'm telling you now, yeah, Chelsea. if 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 yeah, he will be screaming, Bring back Mason. He will. Irrelevant to what how Mason is doing at Man United, he will be saying, "Bring back Mason." This would not happen under Mason. This would not happen under Tommy. This Kai Abbott. Well, bring back Kai. <laughs> bring back. But uh, but I I am. Um, I think you're right with Sterling as well. Is that I personally think Sterling's better on the right. But when Sterling was confident for City, he was switching between the left and right, and he was cooking on the left, like. He was definitely cooking on the left. So if he's confident, he can play. Yeah, yeah. Bro, it, yeah. It, I mean, it yeah. was it was Leroy Aguero and and uh, Sterling. But then when Sterling when Leroy wasn't playing, often Sterling was playing on the left. And when Leroy left, Sterling was definitely playing on the left, and he was still cooking. Then so it's not. I just per personally prefer him on the right. But you know what's I crazy? How badly could Chelsea do right now? But Mason Mount or Kai Havertz? But deep it, really deep it. Be done with them for a few more months. Yeah, but Bob, Mason Bob, Mount, no, no, at least. no, no. What are you telling me? What kind of Gallagher's going to be? This they need, they no, need. But, 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 we saying that's taking Chelsea to where, to the promised land where they want to be. This is like I mean, you getting El Ghazi. I don't think Kai Havertz, but I think Mason Mount would have definitely been a, a good balance option for what they needed right now in that midfield three. Hundred percent. But like here he is. He's at Manchester United, ready to play on the right-hand side because El Garza is coming, potentially. So, good luck. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, no, moving on anyways. Uh, uh, it's just they're going to be all right. They're how many be, likes have we got? Hands. How many likes we got? Let's get these likes up, people. 207. That's not like... If, I know it's the international break, but, you know... Boys, have you chatted we... about... Um... Have you chatted about... Sorry, sorry, Taps. No, that's right. <laughs> I do it all the Have time. Bro, about... please go through. No, <laughs> no, no. Because I've been listening to a few things today and there's... Uh, I mean, I don't think it'll happen, but what about Flick getting sacked? Could uh, could Klopp take uh, take the Germany job, man, into the Euros? Obviously, it's in Germany, oh, etc. Oh, no, I don't think so, you know. I think the uh, they're, yeah. they're very to get there more than Klopp. Uh, Klopp would just... There's, I know no. there's a clause or something within Klopp's contract that I saw come up but when Nagelsmann's free to go grab I don't think it's the right time for Klopp he needs to build his reputation again if anything I think Klopp will be happy and excited with what's going on at Liverpool at the moment and think now nah, I'm good where I am right now can um, you see Hansi Flick maybe going to Chelsea if it don't work out then if he's available oh, come he's on, are we doing running. this already <laughs> I mean look, look, look if the worst comes to worst you don't want come Fat on, Frank oh. back in there you don't want Fat Frank back in the job 
Well, what come Hag? on, let's not do this. What, if ten... had four what, games, what, what about Ten Hag, Cass? What about Ten Hag? His, his job good. might come available soon. Right, you it never know. Us, it, it took us an extra two years to sack Oli, mate. He's going, he's going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Uh, where do you stand on Ten Hag at the minute, though? Like, are you? Are you happy? Yeah, of course. I don't. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not it's more this behind the I'm scenes. Not like, I'm not like these Twitter fans, man. I, like you said, I find a positive in everything. I watch. Mm, so this, mm. I'm glad there's a lot of scrutiny around Man United. That should. That should. I want a reaction then. Are you? Yeah, the well, did you find the same positives about Oli though? Did you find the same positives about Oli? You know what, Mo? I tried, bro. You did. Okay, so I, I, I didn't. I didn't talk to you then, back then. So I, I no, 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 no. I tr- I really tried, bro. Like my hardest to to back Oli. Which and is then what was... I think. Which is what I think. What you guys are doing now. No, it's not because I, I, could see, I could see, the thing is with Oli, it was more freestyle, right? And there was not you can't the, the shape of the defense was all over the gaff. You can see the four or five goals to Watford. Out of all respect. Don't get me wrong, it's weird because under Oli, the away form was better than the home form. But I always say it always mm. starts from home before you go away and yeah, go catch yeah, yeah, yeah. you. I agree if you can't do it at home, you're not going to have the backing of your fans, the main fans, all of them, the eighty uh the seventy six thousand that come every week. Like the way I look at it with Ten Hag, you need tools, but Oli got more than enough backing, bro. You you he wanted oh. Maguire, you wanted Sancho, you just decided to bring uh, Ronaldo in when it, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Like, that's what I'm saying. But it's the same thing with any magic. You decided to bring Anthony in. You decided to bring this player in. But I'm yeah. seeing more shrewd business than stupid business. So that's the way I look at it. And I'll give... Uh, ten El Ghazi's shrewd. Shrewd like, as shit. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give... The thing is... I'll give Ten Hag the season to see what I can see. But if I see the same type of football throughout the whole year, if I see us finish below Liverpool or anything like that, I'm going to be... F- you, man. That, will happen, though, that you, will, you, you will happen, though, mate. You will not... Yeah, that will happen. Yeah, that's That's not. done. See, heard don't, don't do the Chelsea No, thing. Liverpool, do the Chelsea come on. Thing. I've heard this, and then you realise that Man United finished above Liverpool two out of three years. No. Guess, guess who was yeah, in charge? This year, yeah, they look different. Wait, oh, is it? Is, how long have I heard that before? Anyways, guess oh, who's I, in charge? I can't, I can't, I can't. Bro, I, I hear you. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But, but bro, season, Liverpool this season. Like the Premier League, it's unpredictable. Yeah. It never goes I hear you. Them. I hear you, bro. I just think I, too many look, problems. I'll, I'll be consistent with what I say on Liverpool. I honestly think Liverpool's form is going to drop off second half of the season. I think injuries will catch up with them. I think uh, tiredness of new players in this club system will catch up with them. Um, but as far as Man United and Liverpool, I think Liverpool you know, by the time the, that happens are going to be so clear of you, bro. You know, you know mm. the best thing about this. Every time it's People in the comments, yourselves, even myself, we say it's only four games, right? So why are we making judgments? Yes, no, you but... are right, Cass. Oh, That's all you exactly. can do, bro. No, but man, you like you look oh, all know, over shit, the shop, bro. I'm confidently saying, if I'm wrong, shoot me. But I don't oh, think no, I'm going to you know be what? wrong on this you know, one. Actually, all the comments is what 870 people are that I'm up. 873 nil. How about that? Shush, Mate, you've shush. got you've got Brighton. You got <laughs> Brighton on on the weekend. You got Brighton on the weekend. But this is what I mean. The fact is, if Man United put in a good performance, and I know it's just an if, if Man United got, and which I expect it to happen anyways, because especially without Evan Ferguson with his dodgy knee, I'm just saying, if Man United put in a good performance and go beat Brighton like 2 0 or something like that, even or 3 1 or something like that, the whole narrative changes in an instant. Let's yeah, say Liverpool go away to who have they go. Just giving them the kiss of death there, I swear. This, this, is, this is all I'm saying. Like Liverpool I, I, have got Wolves, man. Liverpool will yeah, beat Wolves. Again, what if Wolves wanna... come, out, come out of woodworks and decide they want to play football this day? And then guess what? They go get a point. <laughs> the whole narrative changed. Oh, you know what? I'm not too Where sure. Is oh, they did, the Wolves they did. They did. They did play football at Old Trafford, bro. They just got cheated out of it. Let's be real. I, <laughs> you know? your, your football team also played football at Old Trafford. Guess what? You got a draw in the end when you two 2-0 up and you got relegated. Oh man, that was last year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you, you know, or you know, Cass is, Cass is coming at Leeds now. I know, oh, yeah, exactly. I Mate, we've got one win out of five in the championship. Calm the, down, narr- man, the, narrative, the narrative can switch so quick. That's why we've done <laughs> best players on content wise. Oh, sorry. I'm saying sorry to yeah. my mic. Um, it's got a name, by the way. Um, <laughs> What's it called? Mo Ghazi. Um, so, anyways, I was about to call Mike. After so the next international break, um, we might do players of the season so far. Does is Amrabat yeah. fit, bro? Is yeah, Amrabat fit? Come yeah. straight in. No, he'll be. I think he'll be on the bench. I don't. No one. Right. You shouldn't play a player straight away on their debut. I don't think. Like I think what? you need to introduce them. What? Something. I've always liked it when a player comes off the bench and receives the claps and and gets the roars and all that kind of stuff. Like Hoyland debut. I don't think he's going to start either. I think Marcel gets a nod. By the way, Hoyland, what I will say, because I've not been on since, when he came on against Arsenal, 
He looked different, man. He looked really, really good. And he got to grips with Gabriel. And I thought, oh, he's... Do you know what? Because, like, you know, I'm big on my FPL. I was like, he's going in. Because I think the more games he plays, I, th I think that's a really shrewd signing, to be honest. I don't know much about him from At Atalanta and stuff. No one does. Just it's seeing him in that snippet. It? Yeah, but, but yeah. well, I felt like physically, that's yeah. why the Premier League, and he came in and he dealt with Gabriel, who's all arms and legs at times and gets all over you, and he dealt with him. So I was like, you know what? You know what? I think there's a player is, there. My only issue is, is even though he done all that, he's still raw. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then positions that you expect him to run towards, as a young striker, like, don't get me wrong, it's hard to become an Erling Haaland as, he, as, as early as he does. And sometimes... Were I seeing a different game? I'm getting told that Gabriel pocketed him. What? In what? the chat. That's wrong, right? I'm not... <laughs> I, they look scared when he came on. Don't get me wrong. They pushed exactly. The yeah. Anyway, I was no, gonna no, say. Don't, worry. Don't, don't worry about that. They still won the game. They can have their fun. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to say is the rawness of a striker. Like, you can look as great and everything as you want. Garnacho looked great when he came on, but guess what? He's still raw. So even mm. if some players mature more, it's... Is he going to make that run that he should need to or be in a position he needs to to drag away a defender that easy to get us that easy goal that like most fans would look on TV and be like, you've got to be doing better in that position. Oh, I, I, I expect Rashford's output to go up straight away. Yeah, because striker, yeah, 100%. I think he's going to, he's yeah. going to, he's going to release Rashford more. Uh, I think that's, it's, it's going to allow Rashford to yeah. move out to the left where I think he's more effective from. It's going to give him yeah. space. And I think the truth is what, what I've seen with Rashford since he's been playing in the nine role ultimately is and some people said they don't feel they feel he's looked a bit lazy i don't think you can call That's Rashford really. lazy he just doesn't he's not a nine right and and no. uh, let's let's sorry people i'm bringing it back to city because that is what i know right when you get a nine that knows how to play the role of a, a nine yeah because they are a nine it works when you put a player in a nine role that isn't a nine they end up like there'd be times where I'd see Rashford drifting out left, getting the ball, but then he's looking for the nine, but there's no nine there, bro, because you're the nine, but you've drifted out to where you know, and now you're in a position where you've got three players in you. And I think now all of a sudden Rashford will go back to, you know, the defence, the defences will have another person to consider, which is Hoyland's runs yeah. and Hoyland being that physical presence. I think Rashford will come, come a lot better now. Um, yeah. Right, you know and, El, right and then El, right El Ghazi from the right, El Ghazi from the right. We're, yeah. we're, we're it, it, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. <laughs> Regulon, Regulon, and Rashford down the left. I mean, that could it's actually got a ring work, to it. It's got a ring to it, bro. Yeah, I expect, I, I expect stuff, but it's just all expectations. You know, according to expectation, that means Newcastle because they started off so shit. They should also be finishing about twelfth or tenth or eighth, right? Talking but of it's, expectations, it's not looking good for them, though, is it, Cass? No, but I, know it's it's early days. Run. I guarantee in the next six games, everyone, especially this one down here, is going to be talking absolute fairies. I was going to say something rude. Fairies and butterflies about Newcastle. Because well, when Newcastle win a few games, exactly. could Newcastle challenge? That's be on the stream. Could <laughs> Newcastle challenge? <laughs> Newcastle I'm riding the horse right Newcastle. away, bro. You know me, I'm riding the horse yeah. right away. <laughs> they have got yeah. some favourable fixtures coming up Newcastle, to be fair. So exactly. Yeah, but about about, about, about Man United, the last thing, Kath, is that if you don't win against Brighton and if it's at home, right? No, it'll be it'll be a shit show, bro. Yeah, if you don't win again, it's at home. Is that yeah. home? Yeah, if you Should don't win. win this game, I think trouble will start. Fans will be restless. I know if. you trust. I know you trust. Yeah, it's a it's a it's an if, but I think Brighton are in a good form. You should mm -hmm. beat them at home, but you still not have Hoyland ready. Amrabat hasn't been integrated yet. So that's the worry. If if this I'll was second honest, game Amrabat, if this was second game Amrabat and you have Hoyland starting, I would have said, yeah, Man United might. But this might be the game where everybody is still integrated together. What are you saying? Get out those yellow and green scarves. <laughs> I maybe, maybe. <laughs> Let's go. I don't Let's know. Go man. I, don't, FC. I don't expect <laughs> right. I don't expect. Brian to cause us damage the way people think they are. I've seen enough holes in there in the way they play right now. I've seen it. And without Evan Ferguson, you've, I can't lie. Look, Matoma, I've got one Masaka, mate. Pocket him twice now. I don't give a shit about that left-hand side no more. Van Heck, that's the gap. That guy don't... He defends like Dan Byrne. Happy days. He's good in the air, though. But anyways, look, we'll see what happens on Saturday. 
I was um, going to say what more to talk on. Right, talking about expectations, Harry Kane. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen uh, the uh, what you said, Joe? I haven't, mate. Nah. When I seen the title, what's he said like? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you word for word. <laughs> this exposes Tottenham for what it is, right? He says it's definitely a different pressure from the pressure in Tottenham. In Tottenham, if we play two matches and do not win, there is no problem. In Bayern Munich, you feel that you must win every single match. This guy's getting a realism of what it means to be at a top club. Now, yeah. if that doesn't expose Daniel Levy for what he is to their fans, why don't they get their scarves out now? Because they're winning, right? Where, where, where's the Levy outers? I ain't seen them in a while. Why is it not the same oh, pressure? You know what? It's a valid King's point. right. King's a, right. Uh, Winnie. What, what's the oh, problem in on. what he's saying? Yeah. No, no there's no problem. problem? No, there's, the problem is, oh, there's no problem to us. To Tottenham fans, there should be a fucking problem, bro. Yeah, because Kane's speaking. Well, Kane's speaking ill of them because, a little no, bit. This says this says everything about Levy, right? And let's be real. We knew when Daniel Levy. He never mentioned. I'll Levy. go back. No, bro. Come on, the direction comes from the top. If you don't know this, you're more of a football thicko than I thought. The direction no, of a club. I'm, I'm come, bro, about... All right, so let me let me explain to you how that relates to Levy, right? The mentality yeah. of a club should come from the top. It should come from the chairman, right? Even if it's a chairman with the manager's input, it should all come from the top, the direction, right? When Daniel mm -hmm. Levy got rid of Mourinho a week before a cup final, because it made more sense from a business point of view, right? Yeah, that was that's, all, that's all the fans need to know that, wow, a tr we all we want is a trophy. You're thinking with your pocket before a trophy. And now, mm -hmm. once again, it's coming out that at Tottenham, because if, look, if if the club's got this mentality that, you know, winning's not that important, um, then as the chairman, I'd be looking at, right... What's the point of being a fan, Daps, if you don't think you're going to go win something in the, in the next few years because oh, you're top? Well, well, the point of it, well, well, in you're hindsight, to be fair, bro, no, 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 I'll, I'll be real, bro. Sometimes I think you guys are, I, I think you guys are hold Tottenham really higher than what the actual. Oh, are. no, I don't. No, I don't. Well, but I think Tottenham exactly. fans do. But so, Tottenham so, fans so let me, do. Let me ask, if, on, if Brighton one. don't win two games, if Brighton don't win two games, no, or Aston Villa don't win. I know what you're saying, Daps. Financially, they are strong. But Tottenham's target, is making Champions League or Europe all the time. Not Tottenham That fans. was five years ago. Okay, that, okay, so they can be deluded and think that. That was five years ago when they challenged Leicester for the league, okay? Since then, they haven't challenged for the league. They didn't even, they didn't come second even. They didn't, okay? Uh, Harry Kane spoke the truth. If you lose two games, by the way, you still can make top four. You're not challenging for the league. It's the same as... You're missing the point. We all, want, we I all get, know... I get no, no, what no, you're we saying. Know where, we know where Tottenham are, right? We know what... Yeah. But that's not where Tottenham fans want to be, right? And now, from a business point of view, I have keep saying this, from a business point of view, they've been run sensationally, right? But that was to get them, like, Arsenal got the stadium paid off, and now the stadium is paid off. It's full steam ahead. Here's a transfer budget. Get us back to where we want to be and actually take us further than we ever were before, right? Tottenham have got a similar model now. They're bringing in so much money. If you're a Tottenham fan, you would not be happy with the fact that, like, two games without winning. And, and the fact that Harry Kane has come out and said that, I get what you're saying, Mo, but as a Tottenham fan, you're not going to be looking forward to hearing that. You're not. Like the, I know you're not, but to be honest, it's different. Real Madrid, Barcelona, even Man City now, than Spurs, like even Liverpool. If Liverpool lose two games, if they chance for the title, yes. If if they are not, I think he spoke the truth. Bar Munich, mm. I think to win he spoke every game. the truth, but that's not. He but still, truth, no, a hundred percent. But if I'm a Tottenham fan right now. Sitting there, and and when Cass said about what's the point of being a fan if you don't expect to win now. Look, I was a City fan when I never yeah. thought we'd win anything as a kid, right? So, but that's not where Tottenham fans are. Tottenham fans are not where I was as a child. Tottenham They're fans deluded. had aspirations of winning. So, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe it is, but that's not what they want to hear. That, like, the amount, the players they've got and whatever else, they, they don't want to be hearing that, you know, Kane's left them and's going, oh, so this is what a big club mentality is because Tottenham fans think they're a big club. Right, so mm. big clubs have big mentalities to win this is, stuff. This and is what I was alluding to. If, if, like, don't get me wrong, like, 
it's okay to state and be realistic and state you want as as a Brighton fan, as Villa fan, you just ultimately in the end, you want to stay in the league. After about five years of money and direction, you want to see yeah. where you can go. Now Aston Villa are in a conference league. They, the fans believe they can go win. Brighton fans might think they've gone off chance. Probably they wouldn't care as much though, but they probably think maybe with the Zerbi, we might have a chance of Europa League or getting somewhere far. I mean, you can have a good away day, right? Leeds fans, it's been a long time. There's a shit anyways. So it doesn't matter <laughs> about them. But for them, Leeds still have big... To be fair to Leeds fans, I'm just, just taking the piss. They still have big club mentality because they know oh, where God, they, they want to go. They still want to go to Manchester and smash up, smash up yeah. Old Trafford. That's what they want yeah, to do. They, yeah, they still have their aspirations. But when you're in a position like Tottenham where you do spend some money, where you do have a calibre of player, when you are playing some good football now, you're telling me Tottenham do not have the Cass. minerals and so oh, far, uh, hold on. or players to go and win a trophy. Cass, oh, look at Henry, how, right? Look how at many Patrick. years ago? It's been how many years ago were they in the champion? How many years ago were they in the Champions League final? About like four. Four, four years ago, four, five, six, maybe six years ago. At a, a, maybe 2019, is... 18, was it or was it 17? What was it? Which one was it? So either Nine, way, 18, 19, 18, 19. right? Oh, so, four years, sorry, yeah. four years ago, they're in the Champions League final, right? Champions League final, right? And we're saying the fans should not have aspirations of winning something, you they know, should so have aspirations. We're in the Champions League final, bro. Your top like, six club. Is it is it really a Joe? Is it really a thing yet? When uh, is it really like what's it called? Bamboozing when you see a club like even what's his name? Uh, is it oh, what's it called on them and them belly on them belly, wherever you want to call him? Um, Le Celso, etc. They they leave a club and they go and win a trophy. Everyone at least Tottenham Oof. goes and wins a trophy. Harry Kane is going to win trophies this year, whether you like or not. He's going to compete. He's playing against Man United as well in the Champions League. And he gets to go oh. and and stuff like this. He probably thinks we got a team that we can go and go and win. He's talking about play, like he's around players that have won everything, right? Sane, Nabry, you know, uh Goretzka, Kimmich, and this is what I mean. So why is it why is, them won the World Cup? Is exposing Tottenham for what it is. If I'm a Tottenham fan right now. Yeah, oh, they'll be they'll 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 be pissed at Kane for saying it. But what I I agree with more with more what what Kane's actually said though is is true. Same as what like, Conte said. Actually, if you deep it, what Conte said when he left, right? He he said the yeah. same thing. He said, you know, but, this this club you can change whatever at this club. The same thing is continually happening. Him and Kane is just going yeah. away, and and this is where you know Tottenham fans need to probably. This is do you know where I think there might be an issue as well? Where they are still, but yeah. do you know no, where no, I think there might be culture. an issue? It's the, it's it's how the uh, no, it's not a culture. Let, I'm sorry, this is the wrong it comment. Is thing just, club, yeah. just, no, because I think it could be a culture thing. because you know Daniel Levy, right? Obviously, there's all this stuff going around uh, Eric Dyer at the minute, and I've seen something online where it said something like Dyer, Dyer wants to chat with Daniel Levy or whatever, oh, that's and it made me remember. <laughs> no, nah, but it may be, it always reminds me of that that conversation that Danny Rose had with Jose Mourinho in that, yeah. and he goes, I will tell Daniel tell as Danny. well, you know, <laughs> and it's like, so what? Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, that shouldn't ever be a situation where a player is saying to the manager, I'm going to tell on you on Daniel. So the fact Dyer said it, and then you were bang on the money earlier um, when you were talking about him sacking Mourinho and then bringing in Ryan Mason for money. Clearly the culture at the football club is a bit dodge when you've got, players saying I'm going to tell on you because yeah. come on if that happened to Pep if you want, I'm going to go tell Cal Maldon or whatever his name is he'd go what the fuck get out do you know what I mean oh, as I for think... Richard Hutchinson in the chat as well get in the bin you mug anyway sorry <laughs> but, but, oh I've never seen you like that but but the truth is <laughs> I, I'm glad you picked up on that because I always remember that conversation and the truth is bro if Here's, here's the issue. Here is the biggest issue with that moment. And that moment kind of, for me, summed up the whole Tottenham Amazon Prime thing. It was about yeah. Daniel Levy. And here's the thing. If, if a player said to Pep, and not just Pep, Klopp as well, um, I'm going to go and speak to Pep, or I'm going to mm. go and speak to Klopp. Uh, sorry, not Klopp. I'm going to go and speak to yeah. uh, FSG or whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The player arrived in Caldoun's office. Caldoun would probably say, "What are you doing here? You yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. you don't come and speak." To, uh, Cal, to be fair, Caldoun has a relationship, but same way, it's a relationship that is. I'm the chairman. I'll yeah. ask you how your family are. I'll, you know, we'll be. But if you have issues at the club, you don't come and speak to me. How oh, dare you? Dad, you? A football, man. Like you go and yeah, there will be people. The fact that Daniel <laughs> Levy has that, and and even more so. 
that comes back to this whole mentality thing that if Daniel Levy does have that relationship with the players, yeah, yeah, yeah. then Daniel Levy should be going to the players and saying, this isn't good enough. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it's the t- at Tottenham. I, th- I look, Tottenham fans, you have to enjoy what's going on at the moment. But I do get what Casper is saying that Man United fans, when they're winning and they're enjoying it, people go, oh, the scarves aren't out now. I have to see the bigger picture. Same at Tottenham. It's all hunky dory right now, but do you need to see the bigger picture? You know, at least we still put messages out and still protest and stuff like that. They're not together at Tottenham at all, not whatsoever. Uh, The fact fact they're actually saying Man United and Tottenham in the same sentence is mad to me. (laughs) 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 It is mad, but Man United have just gone and got regular on loan off of Tottenham. So that's why we're allowed to do it now. Yeah, man, it's just uh, overall, man. And even when I think about it, it's it, say it, Leicester, does take, Johnny it, does take, it does take a manager sometimes to paper those cracks and be the link. And maybe yeah. that's what it might be for Ange Postacoglu because yeah. he is a winner, he wins everywhere he goes. That, that, that's he's got a proven track record, whether it's for a Japanese cup or not, or an Australian cup, he's still a winner. So, uh, that's what that's strong personality, get, very, very strong personality. How, well. say, how can you want Ten to go when he's he's patched up so much crap in a short space of time and has to do everything himself because everyone else is incompetent? Why would I want to play? Why would I want a man like that out of my club? You know, so that it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we're going to be back tomorrow, uh, maybe in the evening, maybe in the afternoon, depending. Um, but big up yourselves. Why are you screwing like that? You think I'm going to give them what well, you want to talk about, Mo? Nothing, no, 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 I'm just... I, I just want to talk about Joe's channel real quick. And plug yeah, yeah, Joe's yeah, channel. Thanks for joining yeah, us as well, Joe. What's your channel? Yeah, it's a pleasure. Uh, just Joe, football show. Everyone's welcome about from the uh, the the guy called Richard, whatever his name is. Um, oh, I know why. All oh, right, okay, so my man's got a little beef because I've uh, blocked him from my channel because now he's mentioning where I'm from and that. So clearly he's just a fan that wants to follow me around but doesn't have the, the joy of being able to comment on my channel. But yeah, listen, it's all love. Um, thank you for having me, as always. Richard, go out and touch grass, mate, or speak to a bird or something, pal, and I'll see you in a bit, mate. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end it there. Yeah. Uh-huh.